Alright, well, here's me stash that I got from the local sort of sci-fi convention that I went to today. So I picked a couple of uh, superhero sort of preschool kid toys from the bands. So I've got Colossus there with his 10 ton weight in one hand. Now that's harder to do than if you've got 10 tons in both hands, by the way, folks. The Ultimate Armor Rhino and the Construction... Hulk Construction Hulk Man Hulk's Construction Smash Now that I came across a, a bag full of Star Trek figures and he wanted £2 each figure and that was just for the figures themselves so I just sort of said well how much for the bag and it was like 15 quid. so there's 14 figures so it works out around about a pound figure and in the bottom of the bag, there was a, get a consortium, or a lured, of weapons and bits and pieces. So, I thought, I'll have me a bit of that. Now, I do have a few of these already, but for that kind of money, I just thought, hell, it's worth the gamble. And a gamble, I am very happy to have uh, paid off, and obviously it's fantastic to have another Alan Sugar figure. You lost me money, you bloody fired. Get off, get out of my sight. So, oh, hold on. It's not all of them. Uh, this is the movie, look, the original Star Trek, the original American picture movie figures. With uh, the lovely abdomen Kirk there. And he's, uh, he's chickadee boo there. Get a hole there. And he's, uh, he's other chickadee boo. Zulu. And then this pretty decent sandwich, I mean, this wasn't the bag it was in obviously, but uh, this pretty decent sandwich bag sized uh, big sandwiches are a bag full of Star Trek accessories. There is a few other additional bits and pieces in there that I'll have to sort of do a little bit of research and find out what the situation is. But uh, a few of the highlights that I'm not really sure is this shield. What the hell is this off? If anybody knows, please let me know. It has a kind of clippity thing on the back. This uh, kind of silvery, um, I can't think what the name of the, uh, how, what's that called again? Like, uh, you don't know what it is. The, the kind of silver effect, I can't think what it's called, but what is, yeah, chrome, that's it, thank you. Chrome effect thing here, so whatever that is, if you can let me know. Uh, there was this, uh, which I think is off the Star Trek figures, but it's a pretty cool little mini figure, so. It was pretty sweet to have in the bag, and the thing that I'm most chuffed about finding in the bag is a Luke Skywalker original, I think original anyway. Uh, have a look and see what you think. Lightsaber. So that's really nice to have found that in there, I didn't even know it was in there, so happy days with that. And speaking of Star Wars, I picked up a little R2-D2 with his sensor, and another sort of Stormtrooper there, so he's, he's just another... Army Builder Stormtrooper, they, were, they weren't that expensive them too, um, so they're not they're not the bestest conditioned ones, but they just they will fill me ranks up quite nicely. And Star Wars theme still, I picked up General Jan Dewan. So what's the Dewans, Mr. Dewan? And as you can see, he comes with three um, badges, <laughs> badges. What do you call them? Medals. Uh, get off! And I don't know if that's supposed to be a joke because uh, isn't it only like Han and Luke got medals? So I guess now you can react, reenact, even uh, the end of the episode four episode where Chewbacca finally gets a medallion. So there's that, and I've got these two very cast cars, cars, and you've got Lightning McQueen with insects in his teeth. And like the McQueen with his tongue hanging out. So there's them. And finally, a Power Rangers Marfa. So you don't really see these lying about readily, so I'll just form myself a pizza. That means it's on its way. So thanks, guys. There you go. The kebab's there. So, thanks guys, I'll catch you all later on, and all that type of stuff, so, bye!